What's up, everybody? It's a tree. Um, okay, well, I guess we're going to call this video <laughs> Tree's Child Pornography Ring. So, hold you with it. Okay, we're going to around there. Tree's Child Pornography Ring. And we're going to talk about child pornography in the world here. Our world. Your world. It's a big deal. It's a huge deal. Okay, um, there's a lot of people who are in jail or in prison or are registered as sex offenders and had their whole career ruined. Ruined because of um, being a sex offender or some type of statutory rape or child pornography. I want us to look at the problems put over here. There's all kinds of um, kidnapping, rape, explo exploitation, exploitation, a, a lot of horrible things, um, child abuse, um, child rape, um, human trafficking, whether you're a child or not, it's all ages. It's going on like it everywhere, it's a huge deal, it's a huge deal. I'm pink. I have love today. And then there's days like yesterday where I am green. <laughs> um, yeah, I kind of like that green. Let's. Well, I'm gonna try putting some love into the green, okay? <sighs> okay. So there are. A lot of people who are in jail or are registered sex offenders or had sex crimes because of being with a child or somebody underage a minor. Now when I was 14, 13, 14, 15, 16 years old and I was wearing my makeup and dressing sexual, well not sexual, well kind of, <laughs> you know what I used to do when I was um, in the fourth and fifth grade at my grade school and I'd get ready to go to junior high school. My mom, I used to, she used to leave for work before I used to go to school. My mom used to wear like lots of makeup and like I remember her laying down on the bed like on her back sucking her stomach in to zip up her jeans because they were so tight. <laughs> you know, but she would go out to the mailbox without her makeup on. And anyhow, so my mom had lots of, lots of makeup and she had lots of high heels, <laughs> high heels, stacked high heels, and back then they didn't have the stilettos that are comfortable, you know, the real high heels girls wear now that are pretty comfortable, back then they were high heels that were high heels, <laughs> like skinny ones, my mom had real high heels, but I used to, before she, she'd leave for work before I'd go to school, and then so I'd put on, before I went to school I'd put on like thick eyelashes, eyeshadow, lipstick, makeup, and high heels, like high heels, high heels, and, and with, my je with my blue jeans, and walk, walk to school every day. <laughs> I went through fourth and fifth grade like that until finally my teacher told on me. And I don't know why she did, but it took that long, but <laughs> once I got caught, I wasn't going to listen anyway, it didn't matter. But, so, but by then, I was knew, I knew what I was doing. I knew that I wanted the attention from the boys, even though I wasn't sexually active. I knew I wanted the attention from the boys, and I knew that it made me feel pretty or like a girl. I mean, every girl likes to feel pretty, even girls with fake fingernail teeth. <laughs> fake fingernail teeth, fake fingernail teeth, fake fingernail teeth. <laughs> oh, yeah, sorry. <laughs> She has fake fingernail teeth, fake fingernail teeth, fake fingernail teeth. And she smokes fake weed. She smokes fake weed. I smoke fake weed. Okay, so anyhow, even though I wasn't sexually active, I knew that I was being sexual and I wanted the attention of the boys. And by the time I was 11, 12 years old, I was making out. By the time I was 13, um, blowjobs you know, and then by the time I was 14, I'd lost my virginity. 
Well, actually, I lost my virginity when I was two. Two years old. But I'm talking consensual. <laughs> um. So, if a girl is... Like a girl, okay, girls, like, they start their periods when they're 9, 10, 11, 12, 13 years old. Most girls between 12 and 13, whatever. But a lot of girls have been starting their period as young as 9 years old. But by the time a girl's 12, she's already developing. And 11, 12 years old, she starts developing, usually. And... So when a girl has her period, that means she can reproduce babies, babies, children. And in order to make children, you have to have sex. Now, if a girl can reproduce a child, become a mother after she has her period, then well, it, wouldn't that be like the way God, our Creator, created? Because there's our Creator who created us with love, and then we've been recreated so many times by the reptilian um, psychopaths, <laughs> but. Still, um, girls of a young age, you know, learn how to flirt, do, learn how to use their sexuality, their beauty, to get the attention, the love, I guess, just to feel like, a, we're all trying to feel like women out here, and if a woman doesn't feel pretty, which there's a lot of us women, even some of us women that have felt pretty don't feel pretty a lot of times, or don't feel pretty anymore, and it makes us very, makes us not feel like a woman, and a girl, young girl, girl, we always want to feel like a woman in order to feel like a woman, in order for us to feel like a woman, usually, usually, is well, you know, we need to feel pretty or, or sexual or attractive and by men, have men be attracted to us, think we're pretty and have men be nice to us and pay attention to us and be nice to us, and usually the only way that they go out of their way to be nice to a girl is if she's very attractive or pretty or feels sex or sexually be sexually attracted to her and she looks pretty and there's so many of us that have been pretty and that aren't pretty or that um, never have been pretty or at least according to what society says and the rules I'm getting off subject here and I um, okay so anyhow Back in the Mary Magdalene days, like a Magdalene was a girl that was chosen by her birthday, the time she was born, the date and stuff, you know, in order to have certain girl gifts or certain abilities embodied in her. And because of her birthday, the Sid Real and Vedic, the real astrology and stuff, would be chosen to be raised in the temple of the mother as a Magdalene to become a priestess. And um, like the, back then, you know, the girls, we, you know, when we lost our virginities to stolen phalluses, like back in the... Mary Magdalene and Jesus days, they didn't have a Jesus in their Bible. Their Bible was not the same as ours. Uh, their God was I Isis and Osiris, and their devil was Seth.